If you're trying to switch to private browsing mode in Safari, but it's not showing up or it's missing on your Safari app, I'll show you how to fix it. Now, let's open up the Safari app here. I'm on an iPhone. You can do this on any iPhone with any iOS operating system. Now, you'll be able to see at the very bottom right are two squares. Tap on those two squares, and you should be able to see at the left on the bottom side should say private. But if it doesn't, then it essentially is missing because there's an issue with your content restrictions. Now, to fix that, we're going to head into the Settings app. So tap on the Settings app. And from here, we're going to scroll down midway down here, and you can see under Focus is Screen Time. Let's tap on the Screen Time on your phone. And once you've tapped on that, you're going to scroll down, and you'll see towards the bottom on your phone is Content and Privacy Restrictions. You're going to tap on that. Now, at the very top, you can see it is turned on, and you can see midway down towards the top here is App Store, Media, Web, and Games. Tap on that. Next, we will tap on midway down again, web content. You can see it's set to limit adult websites. If it's set to limit adult websites or only approved websites, you can't switch to private browsing. So I would recommend switching this to unrestricted. Keep in mind, you might need to enter in that screen time passcode that was set. If you forgot it, you can always just resetting it using your Apple ID. Now, you can also go back out of here and turn off content privacy restrictions completely. After we've done that, we need to close out of the Safari app. So swipe up and close out of the Safari app. After you've done that, open up Safari again. And now you'll be able to see to the left is private. Again, if you tap on those two squares, just tap on private here. And just like that, you're in private browsing mode. You can tap on the little plus to start a new tab just in private browsing.